John, thanks very much. We have breaking news now in Oxford where two boys are hurt in an explosion. Now the scene is just off the Miami University campus and that's where we find Local 12's Tessa DiTiro. Tessa, what have you learned? Well, Lieutenant Fenning with uh, Oxford Police just gave us an update. She confirms that two 12-year-old boys have been injured in this explosion. They're not sure what type of an explosion this was. This is just off Miami University's campus, like you said, Cami, near East Withrow Street. And it's uh, told to us that these boys were riding their bikes, but they don't exactly know why they were in this area. There's a hospital behind me and then student housing, it appears, on the other side. These are 12-year-old boys on bikes. They're just not sure why they were here or what type of an explosion happened. But the lieutenant says that some nurses actually came out from that hospital behind me after they heard this explosion. One of the boys is seriously injured and was flown to Children's Hospital. The other has a minor injury. So definitely a scary situation here as we gather more information. We're actually not able to point our cameras towards the scene right now because we have lights on our cameras and they're thermally uh, evaluating the scene right now. So no lights uh, can go towards the scene. Uh, they'll be doing that for the next 30 to 40 minutes as they keep us updated on what they think this explosion may have been. But again, two 12-year-old boys involved, one seriously injured and flown to Children's. We'll keep you updated. But for now, in Oxford, Tessa DiTiro, Local 12 News. Tessa, any hints at all what that explosion might have been, what, why it happened? No, there were no hints really from the lieutenant. She seemed concerned as to why these boys were in this area. Again, like I said, it's not really an area that two 12 year olds would be in. And she said they were on bikes. There was a bike found at the scene. So she doesn't know exactly what this explosion was. And it doesn't sound like there were any witnesses of the actual explosion. Hmm. So we're still working to get more details on that. All right, Tessa. Thank